To some, graphing calculators are simply math and science tools. However, your graphing calculator is actually a complete computer, and it can be made to do many things. One of the things a graphing calculator can do with a little bit of help is network together and even access the internet. In this video, I'll tell you about how Global CalcNet, the method of connecting calculators to the internet, works. CalcNet is a networking protocol for TI graphing calculators that has been developed over the past decade. Unlike desktop networking protocols, it requires only wires. You don't need any specialized hardware like hubs, switches, routers, or bridges to connect the calculators. You can network any number of calculators together between 2, 2,000, or 2 million. However, CalcNet networks are only local within calculators that are within the same room or the same building. If you want to connect calculators across the internet, you'll have to use Global CalcNet. Global CalcNet, or GCN for short, is a transparent protocol to connect CalcNet networks over the internet. This means the calculators are not aware that GCN exists. They'll think that the remote calculators are on the same network as them. GCN is also a way to provide services like HTTP, FTP, and IRC to calculators because computer programs can connect to the GCN hub as if they were calculators and provide those services. So how does GCN work exactly? In this sample GCN network, at the top you have the main GCN server, or MetaHub, which contains several virtual hubs. Connected to it via the internet are, at left, a single calculator directly connected to a computer via USB, and on the right, three calculators connected to a CalcNet network, which are in turn connected to the internet via a computer. At left, a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition is directly connected to a computer via USB. Door CS running on the calculator allows it to interface with a GCN client running on the computer. At right, three calculators are connected via a CalcNet network. An Arduino is being used as a CalcNet to GCN bridge. It lets the computer talk to the CalcNet network as if it was another calculator. Connected to both of these computers over the internet, is the GCN MetaHub, which only exists in one location. It provides virtual hubs that can be created and destroyed as clients need. It also runs the various services that can be provided to calculators, such as FTP, HTTP, and IRC. So what exactly happens when your calculator communicates with Global CalcNet? Remember that Global CalcNet is invisible to your calculator. It thinks it's just connected to a regular local CalcNet network. First, an application like Chat, Sandpaper, Gossamer, Obliterate, or any number of existing CalcNet applications generates some data that it would like to send over the network. It gives that data to DoorCS, which runs CalcNet code to encapsulate that data and send it out over the network. DoorCS, again, is only aware of a CalcNet network, not that this data is going to be sent over the internet. When it sends the data out of its link port, the GCN client running on a connected computer catches that data, further encapsulated in a TCP packet, and sends it out over the internet to the GCN hub. When data returns back to the GCN client from the GCN meta hub as a TCP packet, that client will unpack the CalcNet data inside that packet and send it out over the CalcNet network. The DoorCS CalcNet interrupt will receive that CalcNet data, pull out the data inside the frame, and return that data to the application, which can then use it for its own purposes. For more information, visit www.chemitech.net. If you have any questions, feel free to post on the Chemitech forum. Thank you.